right, so that's the first time tipping off a bale. Well, two bales with a new double bale lifter. And I've got a wee bit more footage of the 6180 doing a bit of baling and I'm going up now to get another, well, handling. <laughs> One of the bales rolled away on me in between the black bales. So I have to try and fish it out now. Um, but I, otherwise, doing well. Nothing bad so far. It looks like a good evening, so hopefully get red. <laughs> right, so that worked out. I went and got another bale on ahead further over. And uh, set it beside it, and then I got two at once again. So I was originally just lining it up for the wrapper to, to get that done, but that one rolled in between two wrapped bales on me, so I had to fish it out by getting the, the wrapped bales away. So, oh well, what odds? No harm done. Yet, anyway.
Didn't actually get any video of the 185 wrapping, but she was out. That's her up there. I, um, <laughs> I might have clipped a gate post with the double bale left on the tail swing <clears throat> and then busted a bale or two. So, I wasn't kicked off her, I'm just gonna say that. Unless you count being self kicked off. No, I, I didn't know where dad wanted the last bales because he's, he's still using the old bales out of there. And I didn't want to block him in, I didn't know where to put them, so I just let him tear on. So these are all last year's, so you can kind of tell by the shininess of them. Like, that's last year's bale, that's this year's bale, they just haven't had a chance to get all dusty. Um, so Dad still comes in here to bring in uh, bales for the cows that are in. I was coming along here nicely and came back for the second row and just busted this bale here. So. Need to look about some black tape at some point and get that sorted. I mean, you'll probably be using it soon anyway, like they're... Unfortunately, having cows in, they, they go through silage quite quick. Um, I don't even want to talk about this bale here, he just... I was trying to get this one lined up and this one wasn't... Yeah, let's not say anything. But I'll, uh, I'll try and get a video of Dad putting one in and you'll see how it's meant to be. <clears throat> So this is a bit of a review of the, the double bale lifter for anyone that's interested, <clears throat> anyone that wants to hear me chatting. Um, she's, she's good in the field, it, she, I was actually able to keep up with the wrapper like at my leisure in the field. She's a bit ignorant coming through the gates, you have to remember not to see her as soon as you come through the gate. She's probably not great for little fields like ours. She's kind of clumsy when it comes to going back into wee tight spaces, you have to make sure you have room for two bales. She is pretty much twice as quick though and I think if there wasn't old bales in there and you could start you know and do a good square yourself you'd have a right chance of getting them in without ripping any or anything so ah, she's probably worth the money saved a bit of time we're going home in the daylight for once actually usually usually it's starting to get dark by the time we're done we try to only mow down what we can get done in the day sort of thing so and then one last thing, so this is the, the 9-0 and if you watch the rev clock in her, right? I don't think I've ever seen a tractor that'll just fill the, the rev gauge like that but anyway, I'm coming up to the road now so I'm going to put away my phone thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, cheers!